As you see here, when you approach the Marta station, there is a kiosk where you can choose what type of pass you'll be getting. You can choose either from a day pass, weekly pass, um, so on and so forth. For today, I just chose to get the um, daily pass and I believe it's $5 for two rides. So that'll get you there to your destination and back. So riding this train wasn't that bad. As you see, there's just a lot of, um, you know, turbulence. <laughs> um, but the train was fairly comfortable, so on and so forth. you get off your stop and you get off at your station you are required to swipe your card to exit out of the gate and you're also required to swipe your card to get into the gate to get off or get on your train okay so i just got home from riding the marta um i can most definitely understand now why people use uh public transit systems if you have a public transit system in your city try it out I know there's some people who have preconceived notions about public transportation and I was one of those people until today. Um, so in Atlanta, the way traffic is set up, you're going to need to try riding Marta once or twice, ride that train, ride that bus, something because I don't know, like today I rode the train from Brookhaven downtown to Peachtree and honestly, um, it cuts down like half the time uh, it's a lot more convenient um and it's not even that expensive like for a day pass for two trips it's five dollars that's pretty good i don't know how much like a weekly passes or like a monthly pass or like an annual passes i didn't look at those options <laughs> like honestly it's not even that bad it gets you to work half it gets you to where you need to be in half the time so therefore you're not wasting gas putting mileage on your car anything like that by the way if you go to starbucks anytime soon i would recommend getting an ice cloud caramel macchiato so fire like comment subscribe i'll see y'all next time